Hi everybody, before I start up this video, I just want to say Happy New Year to everyone. It's gonna, This is going to be my first video of the new year and I'm really, really excited. It's currently January 15th and for today, I'm going to go grocery shopping with my mom. Monthly, our monthly grocery shopping because I need to buy a few things as well. And I'm just going to accompany her and my grandma's going to come with us. Um, to the supermarket right now it's currently like 1.30 I think and we're gonna leave at 3 so I'm just getting ready and yeah I'm just gonna take you guys with me I think cause I don't know I can't video myself in public I'm still a bit shy but I still hope you guys will enjoy this video. So I'm just gonna start with skincare. I just showered and everything, and I thought what my morning skincare is, or like when I want to go out, what I use on my skin. So first of all, face wash. It's this Anuon face wash. Um, my sis my sister gave it to me. So far, I've been liking it, and after I wash my face and everything. I just use my moisturizer and my sunscreen. After that's all dry, now it's a sunscreen. It's the same dry and it's a skin effect. I think I've been using this for about a year now and I have no complaints. Although, I don't know why, Colin is on that. I buy the smaller version of this, right? I have it. I don't know why it's much more lebih, but I have the Ah, look, it's so dark. It's much more watery than this one though. And I do like shake them and everything, so I don't know if it's like the composition is different or what, but that's a bit weird. Okay, so my memory card did another error. Thingy, so nothing that I said just now got recorded, but um, I do. I do need to leave at 3 and I do have some work I need to do before because um, this specific work has a deadline and I'll just show you guys a little bit behind the scenes <laughs> if you're interested I usually do right I open my computer and I plan um, all the stuff that I want to post I do plan everything in advance so I don't do anything twice and if I finished like one of the topics I just like scratch it off this is some of them <laughs> so once I have all my stuff and I'll just do product show this is the stuff that I need this is some of the stuff that I'm gonna take pictures of and some of them are in my makeup bag it's like the best product I think 2023 has to offer come here honey Hi, honey. <laughs> Hi. You got on so bad. Okay. Okay. Hi, everyone. I just got home. It's currently like almost 7 p.m. and I really just want to take this entire makeup off of my face. So let me just wash my hands. I'm sure you guys already know my night routine. What I usually do is like with or without makeup, I always always double cleanse because um I use like sunscreen every day so it's very necessary to double cleanse. And I'll just use my annual heart leaf pore control cleansing oil and the face wash as well i used to use the dhc um face oil it's about the same but i feel like the on one is more water like it's more watery compared to the dhc a little bit of water i just knew that this tap is called emulsifying okay so you grab a bit of water and you put on your face and then I'll become like white-ish 
I don't know if you can see the color difference. This is what I use after I wash my face almost every night if I remember. It's the AHA, BHA, BHA, PHA 30 Days Miracle True Sika Clear Pad. Um, there's like, I think 60, oh, 70 like of these in here. Oops. That's what it looks like. So just take one. I put them in the fridge so it's a little bit cold. interchange my moisturizer with either of these three. The Madagascar Santala Soothing Cream and the CeraVe PM Facial Moisturizing Lotion. That's what it looks like. Oh, why is it not focusing? Or as you all know, my tried and true Skintific 5 Time Ceramide Barrier Moisture Gel. This is what I use in the afternoon. But I think for today I'll use the Cera because I haven't used it in a while. Okay, good. I don't know what time is it, but currently it's the next day and I just showered and put my hair oil and everything. And now I'm gonna put on body lotion. So what I'm currently loving is the Vaseline body lotion. It's the Gluta Hia Serum Burst UV Lotion. Reduces dark spots for even toned skin. I'm really loving this. I have like three more down there because I've used this a lot. Um, I use this during the day and for the night I use the blue one. Cause I feel like it just hydrates my skin and, and makes it like more glowy and it really uh, absorbs fast. Uh, it absorbs quickly. That's why I put it like on my arms, on my chest cause my tan is literally I mean, you can see how bad it is. And then I'll put So I just got home from dinner and I met up with some of my girlfriends. Sorry, I'm literally watching Naruto while I'm recording this. And she gave me some presents while she was in Japan. I'm just gonna unbox it, okay? So one is the tomato TBC, tomato basil and cheese from Tokyo Disney Resort. I don't know what this is. Maybe some snack. There's that. And she gave us some a compact bag. That is so cute. Looks like this. Oh no. So it opens up, it opens up like that. That's so cute. And then an eye pack, which I definitely need because my under eye is not under eyeing. And then last but not least, oh my, look how cute this is. It's like candy, but it's sushi. I'm guessing this is like tuna and this is cucumber. And there's even the sauce, and there's chopstick, and like any kind of another form of sushi, I guess. I'm very interested in this. I think I'm gonna try it out on camera when I do have a chance of trying it. Thanks, Clark! PM. It's currently 6 p.m. and I'm going to tennis at 8 in Kabonjur, which is pretty far. Not far, it's just a lot of traffic. Jeez, I'm so sunscreen.
I'm just gonna put my hair in a ponytail. I'm just gonna do my makeup now. I think he came on I had to record myself doing my makeup, but it says that my memory card. Like something was wrong with my memory card, so I ended up like that. Um it got deleted. Not like that, but it got deleted, so I'm just gonna do my simple makeup. I don't wanna really use Primer for an everyday makeup because I don't know, I really don't feel like it. And I'm just gonna use a brush. You know, I'm just gonna speed through it and let you guys see what's the end result. This is my outfit of the day. Oh, I look a little bit bloated. My top is from Zara. My pants is from... I forgot, but it's a local brand. I'll just put it on the screen somewhere. I'm just gonna use my um, Nike Air Force. I'm so excited, but this is the I think this is the mini version. So actually I tried it I tried this once when my hair is curly. So naturally I have really frizzy and curly hair. And it does not look good. I think it just emphasizes my curl even more. Like it does not show the mermaid hair texture. So yesterday I curled my I mean yesterday I straightened my hair. So hopefully this will work with straight hair. Let's try. Okay, so now um, I ended up not curling my entire hair because that's just taking way too much time. So for an everyday look, I rarely use any foundation. I do use a skin tint. I do use the Rosé All Day skin tint or the Maybelline skin tint. This is the Maybelline Super Stay Vitamin C 24 Hour Skin Tint. This one's really good. I mean, if you have a similar skin tone as mine, mine is in the shade 220. Today, I really hate how this looks. Since my skin is oily, I do prefer more of a matte finish. Oh, that's a lot. Oopsies. And sometimes I use a. Sometimes I use a puff, but some. Today I'm gonna use a brush. But this makes the skin look so good and like the finish is very natural. Should I open that? And like it covers like almost everything. Look at the redness. Gone. And if I feel like I do have some streakiness, I'll just grab like this puff and like dab it all over, dab it all over my face. Okay, so I have been using this blush since I was in college and it hasn't run out yet. It's from Nude Sticks called, uh, the shade is called Naughty and Spice. I do use blush first before concealer. I feel like it just looks more seamless if you do and I do use a lot of blush because I'm a blush girly. I used to not be but I fell in love with it. So after you're done with blush, I'm gonna go ahead with concealer. 
This is the Rose All Day Concealer Nude um, Shade Sand. And I use the same puff and I dab it all over. If I'm going for a more high coverage look, I do like sit the concealer longer because I feel like it just gives it more coverage. I think that's what I see on YouTube, but bronzer. This is the Clinique Chubby the Clinique Chubby Stick Sculpting Contour bronzer i don't know what she's oh it's shade number one curvy contour i used to put it like straight around my face but now i've learned to just like grab it on the brush and put it because it's just more precise this way and like i don't over bronze or over contour i just put it around my uh, forehead and like here i don't really drag it down here because first i feel like it makes me look fat it's either that or i don't know how to do it right and second, I just don't feel like doing it if I feel like I don't want to. Do whatever you want. And the next, the most important step for me because I'm an oily girly is the powder. I do use two powders on a, either one of the two on a daily basis if I do my makeup. It's the Human Under Human Under Control HD Blur Loose Powder by something. It's in the shade Translucent. And one of my friends got me this Esca powder. It's the Flawless Micro Setting Powder in the shade Caramel. Guys, this one really do cover your pores. Like, it's insane. I want to get the translucent one because it's in the shade Caramel. It works fine. But I just want to get the translucent one because I feel like it's like... I don't know. I just prefer a translucent powder. But I'm going to use this one for today and just like powder my face. The color is not like really that pigmented which I really really like because I've been using this all over my face and what's great about this is that it comes like with a powder puff and a cover right so and you open it and just like dab it on because some powders they don't have that and it just gets everywhere so what for my bronzer I'm using the hourglass ambient lighting palette I think I'm using it in sh just a darker shade this one and this is what Radiant light Just to give some glow back to my face because I'm very very matte And then for The blush I'm using the powder blush. I'm using the Patrick Ta Double T cream and powder blush. This is in the shade she's baked. It's really similar to the shade the new six one that I have Guys, this blush is insane. Okay, after that's done for my eyelids, I just literally put the same blush on my eyelids so it's just cohesive. And I don't put mascara or anything because I don't want to. And I don't really do anything to my eyebrows either. That's it. That's literally it. And then for a setting spray, I used to use the Urban Decay setting spray, the All Nighter, but I found a local brand from here that is just about the same. This is the Studio Tropic Dream Setter setting spray. One thing about this is that sometimes the nozzle is a little bit weird. Is it called a nozzle? I don't know. See, I have another one here, and it's almost out. And I want I do have a smaller one too. And I do spray a ridiculous amount. Sorry if that bothered you a bit. Oh no, my hair is wet. And for my lips, this is looking a little bit, not a little bit, very bare. I use the Second Date Gallery Milky Gel Lip Tint. Put it in the middle and grab my fingers and just 
It's really pretty. I really like it. That's it. That's my makeup. So let's put on an outfit now. I don't know what to wear. So before I end this video, I just want to let everybody know that this is so weird to say because it's really, really nothing big. But thank you everybody who watched my videos. I really, really appreciate it. I don't know, it just gives me, makes me just happy. I don't know why. And like, even though there's only like 30 views, 40 views, I'm really, really okay with that. I'm just glad that somebody's enjoying my content. And like, if one person out there learn something or enjoys whatever i'm doing i'm really really happy with that um so for this 2024 new year's resolution <laughs> resolution because i don't even know if i can keep it up right now there's like two things three actually but i want to keep one of that for me two is um one of the one of my new year's resolution is to post at least two to three videos every month and okay minimum two at least two every month and i'll be so okay with that and but i'm like it can't be like the asa asa panda you know must be like one that i really really like and i really really like to post and want to post so if any of you guys want to see something that like from me that you guys really want to see do let me know i don't know i'm doing this as if someone will actually want to see something and then Gorasa. And then my second resolution is to at least exercise three times a week. And like that's actually really hard for me. Three times is quite a bit. But like I think my goal this year is to lose weight and just be healthy. Not just losing weight just because I wanna look good, but like and in the grand scheme of things, I just really want to be more fit than I was this year because oh my god, I realized how unfit I was. I literally went to church and I had to go from the first floor to the fifth floor and girl, I barely can even breathe. And honestly, it wasn't that much like stairs and go banyak, so like I'm really unfit. Damn. Yeah, so that's one of the that's two of the three resolutions I have for this year and I hope that it can come true so it's not come true and i hope i will do it because i really really want to do it and we'll see how long it'll last okay thanks for watching